Let me introduce you to one of the newest rising YouTube stars up on Benny's heels right here. The Crypto Boy Kid, there you go. What's up guys, it's the Crypto Boy Kid. Kid, and today I'm going to crypto conventions in the Cardinal Theater for the second time. And this is just gonna be amazing. And just follow along with the rest of the day. Tomorrow I'm gonna be speaking at 1 p.m. And it's just gonna be a fun set of two days. So make sure to smash that like button and keep following along. Also a little snackies. <laughs> yeah, look at Ola. <laughs> Having a fun time. Yo buddy, just getting set up. Yeah. Breakfast. <laughs> Just test your mic real quick. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. One, two, three. What's up guys, it's the Crypto Coin Kid and today I'm going to be interviewing another person and he has a really interesting business. So can you tell me what your business is about? Yeah, absolutely. So we are a cryptocurrency exchange. Our website is bitbo.com. We're based here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada and currently we're offering services to Canadians. We allow them to buy, to use Canadian dollars um, and also seven different cryptocurrencies. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ether, Litecoin, Dash, XRP, and Ethereum Classic. Cool, so can you tell me how you got introduced to Bitcoin and blockchain? Yeah, absolutely. So I used to work in banking for a traditional financial institution. Um, I came across a number of blockchain and crypto related clients while I was working in banking, gained a real interest in the space and decided to leave the traditional financial institution side and move over to the crypto side of things and I've never looked back. Cool, that's a very interesting way to get introduced to the thing. So can you teach me something about your business? Yeah, absolutely. So I think one of the interesting things about our business and why we started it is it was originally quite difficult to move to get onto exchange platforms. So it's very easy to transact once you're in cryptocurrency, as you know, but converting fiat into cryptocurrency to get in initially would take a week to two weeks to get it onto the platform and a week to a month to get it off of the platform, depending on the exchange that you're using. So we saw a way that we could do that better. Uh, we built our platform with the BitBo same day guarantee, which guarantees you'll get your money on or off of the platform within 24 hours, where it's typically taking other exchanges a couple of weeks to do that. Typically, it only takes us a couple of hours to do it, but we do guarantee it within 24. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, absolutely. It was so fun interviewing you. Thank you. This was an amazing interview. I never knew that about all these things about your um, exchange, and I'll be sure to check it out. Yes, please and, do. Hey guys, this is Critical and Kid Lab on Location. Keep watching, keep learning, and I'll just see you more. Awesome. Thank nice you. To you. Nice to meet you too. Check. check. One, two, three. Check, check. What's up guys, it's the Crypto Coin Kid and today I'm going to be interviewing another very interesting guy. So can you tell me a little bit about your business? Sure, so I'm one of the uh, core team members in business development for Verge Currency. So we're a uh, privacy uh, focused currency in the cryptocurrency space. So uh, we're a non-ICO, non-pre-mine project, which means actually all of us are volunteer. Everybody that's involved in the Verge Currency project is all completely volunteer. 
which means we donate all of our own time. Most of us have businesses already. Most of us have our own day jobs. We just pick up the Verge project when we have time. So it's a very interesting project, but we also have a large amount of uh, community engagement with about 800,000 people worldwide supporting us. Cool, so can you tell me how you got introduced to crypto? Uh, how I got introduced to crypto? Well, back in 2010, I became uh, aware of Bitcoin. Okay, so you fast forward, open up my first wallet, I think in about 2016. I uh, started doing a whole lot of research, much like you're probably doing, a whole lot of research on cryptocurrency, the space, uh, what projects uh, were involved. Then I came across Verge. So that's how I fell in love um, with Verge, uh, based on ideologies and based on their platform and based on their vision. So that's how, that's how I got introduced. Cool, so can you give me a little bit of tips and tricks and like, teach me something? Uh, I think for the most part, keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you're, you're nine years old, you're going in the right direction. A whole lot of research, do your own research, D-Y-O-R, um, punching all your keywords into, into online. Research the project. There's a whole bunch of projects out there right now in cryptocurrency. I think there's over 2,000 projects going on right now in cryptocurrency. Do your own research on your own project that you feel aligns so if you find a team in cryptocurrency find a project in cryptocurrency and you like what that team represents and you like that vision follow that vision align yourself with with what you stand for i know myself i have a four-year-old i have a four-year-old son teaching him about cryptocurrency already in fact as of last night or the night before we were talking about cryptocurrency my four-year-old and myself he was wondering he was telling me where he was going to spend his cryptocurrency and i was telling him where i was keeping his cryptocurrency Four-year-olds are going to look up to nine-year-olds. And especially with the Ver Verge project, we have Fueled by Verge. So what that means is we take a bunch of athletes, we take some superstars in their own little world, we take them in under the Verge uh, platform, and we label them as Fueled by Verge. So a good example, we have Danny Robertson, a superstar motocross racer here in Calgary that travels to the U.S. and Canada, nine years old, and he educates people on cryptocurrency. He educates people on Verge currency. We have Jill. He's in the Netherlands, he's a NASCAR driver. He educates people on cryptocurrency. That's what it's about. Education, education, education. And you, my friend, are doing an amazing job. Thank you so much, teaching the next generation. So cool, thank you so much for your time. This was a very interesting conversation. You're a very interesting guy. And thank you so much for teaching me all about these things. I think your son, your four-year-old son is on the right path. And he is going to learn from me. And when I'm done, he will be the next generation. Absolutely. And thanks guys, this is your Crypto Cool Kid, live on location. And make sure to keep watching, keep learning, and keep learning about cryptocurrency. All right, brother. Keep on keeping on. Thank you. Are you allowed to be using that? You ready? <laughs> you got some moves? <laughs> okay. Take me downtown, brother. Take me downtown. What's up, guys? It's the Crypto Coin Kid. And today, I'm going to be interviewing the man of the hour, the man who organized this whole thing and made it all happen, Jan Serato. So yeah. Can, so can... How are you, brother? You're looking good. This guy's eating my empanadas here at my event. He loves this stuff, okay? Um, I am so happy he's here. I am so happy to be here. And I am so happy to be doing this with you all because the more we do this, what are we doing? Teaching others, right? Yes. I'm so proud of you for teaching all the kids, influencing the parents, and letting people know that we're doing something in the crypto space together, hey? Yeah. So tell us what you do in the crypto space. What's your favorite moves? Well, my favorite types of moves um, I do mostly YouTube videos, do educational videos for young kids like me, young from like the ages 4 to like 12, like all those ages, ages of any kind. I do educational videos for young kids to learn about the future, learn about Bitcoin and how I'm teaching kids, the next generation, about the future. Love it. Love it. That's it right there. That's what being young's about nowadays, that's what the future is about nowadays. Listen to this guy, okay? Listen to his shows, follow him on YouTube, click the subscribe link down here, hit the little bell right there, and make sure you're on top of things, because he's gonna take you guys way past me. I'm old already, this is the future right here. He's gonna take crypto, I'm gonna hand him the torch when I'm done, 
and this young man here is going to oh, do no. the rest of the force with the crypto, right? You're the crypto force with me. That's how we're doing it. So, so go ahead. What else? Ask me a question. Me, can you tell me how you got introduced to crypto? Yes. Um, one of my friends, Tom, was a video gamer and it was 2010, so that's going back eight years. And by the way, we're doing this video right now on Bitcoin's birthday. Today, Bitcoin is 10 years old. It is January 3rd, 2019 as we do this, okay? Middle of the afternoon, we're about to have cake. But back to 2010, my friend Tom says, Jan, come on over, I wanna show you something. And I'm like, what is it? He's like, it's Bitcoin. And I'm like, okay, I heard coin in the name, didn't know what was up. Anyway, get over, he's playing video games, he's showing me this stuff, he's like, this Bitcoin is money now, it's on the internet. And I'm like, what? They have their own money on the web? This is impossible. And he's like, showing me how they buy things and all that. And it was 2010, and I can't remember, Bitcoin wasn't even three bucks yet or some, some weird small number like that. And it was, I was really shocked that, that people had made an internet money at that moment, okay? So that, that was the first time I heard of it. And since then, I, he gave me some that same day in a wallet and everything in my phone. And, uh, and I was always holding it and sharing it with other people because I would give away a little bit of Bitcoin to other people that I, the weird people that I would meet out of the, out of the mixture, right? So it was, it was a really neat time from 2010 to like 2017. Yeah. Cool, so can you tell me what your business is about? Sure, my business is about education foremost. So I'm out educating people. The second part of the business is about um, marketing. So we're marketing each other, we're marketing events, this kind of thing. And then the third part is the events. So I, I feel like whether we're doing the magazine, an event, a workshop, we're creating an outlet, a creative outlet for people to engage inside like we did here today, like you are and me right now. And when we create the outlet, people get a chance to participate. And I feel like that's my job, is to continue to create outlets in the crypto and blockchain space so all of you can participate with us as a community, as a culture. So cool. Education for the win, dog. That is education for the win, dog. You got that. So can you teach me some tips and some new things about crypto? Because you're an early bird of the game. Yeah, um, I think some tips are based on security. So the first thing I want everyone to know is be secure with your crypto. Don't just be all flaky with it and think it's loose and it's just not important. You want to have a high sense of security. You want to have all your backups done on all your wallets. You want to use top quality software. You want to visit my website, bitcoinworkshops.ca, and look at the resource page. And we've got a list of software that we use and it's bonafide by us and our guys. Um, I think that's number one, is be tight with your security. Don't go at the game very loosely, okay? Number two, research, research, research. Your age, you can do research. My age, I can do research. There's no age gap on research. I think research is like absolutely crucial to everything. Research me, I research you, we research a project, a coin, a software, a blockchain, a theory, an idea, you with me? Research, key, key stuff, okay? And then number three, be a search maniac. Get on the internet yourself, just like a DJ, and start looking up keywords in the space, in the crypto sphere, and find out what's cooking and what's brewing and what's cooking in that kitchen. And then start to report on that, fill yourself with knowledge. Back there we heard Michael Morton talk about being a sovereign citizen in America. Ben, ben Perrin had never heard of that. He's already been to America. Things like that. We can open each other's eyes just in a second, and we, and we don't know everything, you know? We don't. That was so cool. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. It was you. a really fun interview. Hey guys, this is the Crypto Coin Kid live on location with Dancer out of the man. Keep watching, keep learning, and keep learning with me and the man. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, too. Let's do this together, okay? Peace together. and love, everybody. Peace out. What? That's, that's, that is right. Is that good right there? That should be good. Yeah. There you go. Okay, sweet. My check. My check. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's the Crypto Coin Kid. And today, I'm going to be interviewing someone that is really interesting and really cool who is here and is actually a boxer. So, can you tell me what your name is? My name is Angelo Habib. I'm a boxer out of Calgary. Uh, I currently compete uh, for Boxing Alberta and Boxing Canada. I recently won a championship in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Cool. So can you tell me um, why you came here today? Uh, just here to check out the scene. Um, I got my company here, Zamongo, who's sponsoring me for my boxing fight. So I just came here to show my face and uh, connect and meet people and socialize. Cool. So can you tell me a little bit about the, the businesses that you use? Okay, so I own a business called Olympus Boxing Club. We're out of the northeast uh, segment of Calgary. Uh, it's a boxing club for all ages, from uh, 10 to all the way up, and uh, we do all kinds of boxing, from recreational boxing to fitness boxing, um, and 
we're actually here right now to find out how we can bring cryptocurrency into our business. Cool. So can you tell me how you got introduced to cryptocurrency and blockchain? I got introduced to cryptocurrency um, actually from Zomongo, the uh, app. Uh, the Tell me a bit about it and how they're getting into cryptocurrency. So I uh, decided I wanted to dabble as well into it. Cool. So can you tell me any other skills and stuff you have? Other skills and stuff I have. Um, well, besides boxing, I would say I'm not I'm not a bad cook. Um, and uh, outside of cooking, I'm not really good at any other sports except for boxing. Um, what else? I like to work on cars. Um, I'm all about motorsports, so I like cars and motorcycles and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. So cool. So thank you so much for No time. problem. Appreciate it. Very it. interesting meeting you. Appreciate this it. This is the CryptoCoin Kid live on location. CryptoCoin Kid, Crypto Conventions, Alberta, Calgary. So keep watching, keep learning with me, and keep meeting very interesting people. So. And subscribe to the kids. Yeah.